Get this garbage out of here! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ripoff games that Steam needs to remove. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays. Game smarter. For this list, we're looking at games that have made it to Steam, but are either unfinished, total copies of other popular games, or are simply not worth your time or money for reasons that will become obvious very soon. Hacking the GPS signal on the other members. Hmm. This is weird. Number 10. Black Screen Simulator. Like the game's Steam description states, you can see hard. It becomes clear that what we're dealing with may not actually be the best game ever. In fact, it's far from it. All of the assets have been copied over from a demo of the Game Guru engine titled The Asylum, and therefore the whole thing is entirely unoriginal. This terrible adventure features guns, zombies, and even the occasional full-on crash. It could be argued that this title exists as a joke, however jokes are usually meant to be funnier and don't have you reaching into your pocket to spend your hard-earned cash on them. <laughs> Number 9. Drug Wars A game met so poorly that when it was patched, it tried to escape itself. Formerly known as Merchants of Brooklyn, this first-person shooter has not really aged well. Filled with clunky graphics and plenty of bugs, the game seemed basically impossible to fix. After being plagued by negative reviews, the developers rushed to fix the problems with the game. However, this kinda did more harm than good. The game has since been left to rot on the online store, so you can still purchase this forgotten mess if you desire. Number 8. Get Rich or Die Gaming But Dad, I'm still downloading the compiler! Downloading the compiler, my dick! Some games are so bad they're good. This one is not one of those. Although, this is less of a game and more of a visual novel. Apart from reading the dialogue and listening to some very cringy voice acting, there actually isn't much to do. With a very inconsistent art style and many characters with the exact same voice, it's clear to see that not a lot of thought or sense of direction was put into the thing. It could easily be passed off as someone's homework, or more likely as a quick cash grab. Some people may die gaming, but hopefully they're playing something better than this. Hey, want some organic psychoactive drugs? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Number 7. Skyscraper Simulator More like Google Maps Simulator, am I right? Available on the platform thanks to Steam's now-defunct Greenlit initiative back in 2010, this <clears throat> game amounts to little more than watching a skyscraper slowly render into digital existence. And that's it. Sure, you can hire people and equipment, but all that really does is determine how fast your building will be built. You'd be much better off letting this one collect dust at the very bottom of your Steam library. Number 6. Surviving in the Forest This is another quick asset flip. Everything here has been taken from a Unity project called Surviving in the Woods. Wow, pretty bang on title, eh? With a lack of interest by the developer, the game subsequently has met many problems. It's got terrible sound and a limited space to play in. These issues are just scratching the surface of the problems, though. There's plenty of poor games on Steam. But this is an example of someone buying assets and then shoving them onto the Steam store with a different name just to turn a profit. Not cool, dude. Number 5. Citadels The town hall can be upgraded in three stages, each time unlocking new building options. This game's freaking broken. It is yet another real-time strategy game that centers around protecting your king by constructing a fort and building an army to protect him. The problem with the game lies with the amount of money that's still required in order to play it. Fifteen bucks is a high asking price for something so crappy. The lack of attention to detail and the number of bugs therein are definitely the causes for its negative reception. In a world where there are several games like this, but cheaper and better, this is definitely something that should just be taken away. I'm going to show you which units you can build, and we'll be sending an army to war. Number 4. Space Base DF9 It is rare that something with so much promise is left in a state like this. After releasing on Steam in the early access stage of development, the developers promised to keep updating and expanding their game. Many users were excited to see what was next for this space life simulation title. However, in late 2014 it was announced that they were no longer going to be supporting or updating it. Yep, they would just leave it as is. 
the game is still listed on the store and is available for purchase. However, there's definitely not enough content for it to be worth the price. Number 3. Infestation – The New Z Until making the switch to free-to-play in late 2016, these zombies didn't just want to pick your brains, they also wanted to pick your wallet. Initially called The War Z until a trademark issue forced the name change to Infestation Survivor Stories, The New Z is hopefully this monstrosity's final form. This title was, at the time, seen as a cheap knockoff of Day Z. Many gave in and bought this title instead, though. Most of them regretted their decision. Described as a real disaster by critics, Infestation was filled with horrible graphics and surrounded by controversy. After launching on Steam under early access, fans were frustrated due to the number of features that were advertised for the game that, as it turns out, didn't actually exist. Even without a price and a new name, it is still not worth your time. Number 2. Gasp! Respond! Are you okay? We head back into space with Gasp, a game about being stranded on the moon and trying to regroup with the other astronauts in order to get to safety. Well, sounds like a great adventure, right? Well, not exactly. The gameplay consists of walking around for a very long time. There's no action to speak of, aside from bouncing asteroids around like basketballs. There's not a lot to hate here, it's just, you know, not worth your time. Number 1. Day 1 – Gary's Incident This game is a massive problem. Gary's Incident made it to Steam through the Steam Greenlight service, which allows players to vote whether or not the game should make it to the platform. However, it is safe to say that people did not want this monstrosity, been slammed for poor gameplay and terrible animation. This caused incidents where the developers started taking down YouTube videos that featured people speaking negatively about their title. This must have been tough, as it was probably difficult to find any videos claiming that the game was good. Having your opinion silenced about a game that you purchased is probably the biggest ripoff of all. Number 2. 